she failed. She was a teacher. She's the one who I told that nikona periods. Alikuwa niletea cotton wool rather than pad. Ijidia Gadinja is my unique name. Uh, people call me MC Pretty Girl. Social media zote zangu. Ikuwe ni Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Zote ni MC Pretty Girl. Nilizaliwa kwenye sijui ama ni nanyuki ama ni moranga. That one I don't know. But nikiangalia ba certificate yangu imeandi kwa moranga. Uh, my mom I think hiyo time alikuwa married. But later ali, waliachana na budangu. So ilibidi tumerudi ocha kwa kina mavi. So nimezaliwa hapo okay sasa nimetoka village inaitwa Gadhinja kama mimi. So mimi naitwa Gadhinja na village yangu inaitwa Gadhinja na my grandmother alikuwa anaitwa Gadhinja. Hiyo story sijui. Later my grandma died then later my mom died. So waliachana I think na cuz my grandma alikufa 1992 my mama akakufa 1995. So kunako ka gap. So sina story mob ya kuhusu mimi sana hata jina ijidia kila mtu shtuka eh hey, madhako alifikiraje kuita ijidia uh, sita danganya i was a kid in fact akakuja hapa siwezi kumbuka sura sorry to say that uh, so wacha tu akai kwenye yako me her so rest in peace so later so mimi nimegrow na grandfather angu. then i was the last born tulikuwa tumezaliwa wili mimi na brother yangu brother yangu ni first born na mimi ni second born then mimi ndio last born so mto you are guka unaelewa tu uh, sitasema kulikuwa kumekosa do the family was well up uh, but kunako kakubembelezwa so my grandfather used to take me ni kama katoi ni kama yaika yake wewe <laughs> so yeah sikatai kuna part sijui ungumu ya life na sita I won't lie hiyo part sijui cuz anakumbuka guka yangu alikuwa ananipikia alikuwa ampelekea maji kwa bafu that man I wish I could alive pia wow miaka yangu yote guka yangu ndio alikuwa anapika hata ile time I think Shoshua alikuwa guka used to cook because uh, nikisikia story yake alikuwa anga chef na alikuwa anapikia wazungu so ye yeah, alikuwa passion na hiyo part ya food eh? so hiyo part sijui sana pia but uh, nikale katoi kama grow na guka yake in fact guka yangu angeniona nimekaa hivi angekuwa anambia izidia okay tudhake juu ile game ya anatengeneza ball ananiambia simama pale tutenge, tucheze because hako anataka nishikwe na stress i think pia juu hiyo kukufiwa then huo mtoi wake madhangu alikuwa last born wake so you can imagine watoi saba mtoi wake mmoja amekufa na ni last born so kuna ako ka attachment so i think mimi alikuwa ananiona ni kama huo mtoi so she he used to be alinibembeleza sana so nika grow nikaenda shule inaitwa Kirogo Primary uh, kwenye nilianzisha shule ni nanyuki so hapo ndio nakwambia sielewi kama nilizaliwa nanyuki ama ni moranga but nikiangalia birth certificate imeandikwa moranga but primo nakumbuka nikiwa Kirogo Primary School iko tu hapo neighborhood uh, then nikaenda Seko Kiandiri Girls so mi kumaliza Seko you know ukiwa na ukiwa mtoto sasa amekufiwa decision making ni ya hawa maanti wakubwa then kwetu ukali kwa meza madem chali moja so uchali pia si hana <laughs> <laughs> eh kwetu ni wale watoto walisoma wale unaona ile age za kitambo watoto hawasomangi basi sasa kwetu watoto walisoma watoto waguka walisoma so you can imagine kuna banka kuna walimu hapo wawili hey. so when nilimaliza shule nikasema nataka kufanya mechanic uh, kuna anti moja alisema usiyowira ni wa ni warume hizo vitu ni za wanaume so wale nipeleka salon nifanye nifanye job za easy hair dressing me i won't lie nilikuwa naenda napiga seti na kula lunch na jioni narudi home sasa kwa hiyo 6 months course wazazi wamelipa pesa ngapi wamempeleka mtoto shule aende asome yeye ameenda kukaa yani ameenda kubangaiza 6 good months <laughs> pesa ngapi ilirusha huko salon <laughs> shauri zao sijui wow wow hapo acha tuasibu ilikuwa teenager <laughs> si ni ukweli hiyo age then wameni force nifanye kitu staki so i wish mimi nilikuwa na wish i had a mother 
kumwambia kenye mimi mwenyewe nataka juu nikiangalia kulingana vile msikia madhangu maybe hange kata and uh, growing up as a teenager na una mother it's not an easy thing cuz uh, sikuwa na mtu akwambia vitu moba kitu kama pad singeambia kuka yangu nataka pad and nilipata periods nikiwa primo nilipata nikiwa class 6 so imagine ningeenda kuambiaje kuka yangu guka niko na periods i won't lie and i even told my aunt juzi she failed she was a teacher she's the one who i told that niko na periods alikuwa analetea cotton wool rather than pad na mimi najua kuna pad inaitwa always unajua shule mtaongea na watu wengine so what did i do kusanya pesa ya guka ndio niweza ku buy pad and uh, then kitu aunt yangu alinidua nilimsamea niliwasamea wote kwa sababu yani watu walikuwa wamesoma guka yangu alikuwa ananipenda sana venye nakwambia wananiletea nguo atiza kazi yangu mwenye kuna aunt yangu alikuwa analetea nguo za za, za dota yake ni vile zile muacha zile zile muacha sana kuachia kadirani alikuwa ananiambia isi doge kire <laughs> I love that man. So alikuwa anipatia do naenda place inaitwa Kangima na Bainguo. So kuna ako ka stereotype unakuwa Liberia unakuwa mbaya but si kutaka kwako you have no one to talk to. No one but in fact I remember there's a, my late uncle mwenye mewanti yangu aliwaambia nga I think I, there's a time aliniita akaniuza ijidia nini nakusumbua. I couldn't tell him anything because he's a man and I'm a daughter and my young kid I couldn't tell him anything nilikuwa naona awasewa nipindi but later little did I know that hiyo uh, ni jani ya mtu ikupitia especially venye umekufiwa first of all unanga decision wezi make decision kwa sababu kuna maanti kama kumi hapa na maanko wanakupeleka hivi wanataka uishi ile life watu wao wanaishi but I thank God I thank God for the talent. Kwa sababu right now kuna cousins wangu hawako place. Wali make hawaja make mamadha zao proud and I thank God who anti moja mpaka wa leo yeye usema wa the Nairobi ikarata ijidia. So I'm the one who me nilijileta Nairobi. Mimi sikukaa mkaa kwa anti yangu. Kuna anti alikuwa anakaa pango sikukaa kwake. So usiniuliza nilikamaje. Hiyo ndio nilikuwa nataka kukuuliza next. Definitely. Kuliza ulifika aje Nairobi. Eh? Story for <laughs> No, no, there's no other day. Ni leo. <laughs> Hii ni leo. Hii story sijaiambia mtu na sitakwambia. Jipata Nairobi. <laughs> yani wewe umeamua ku break your, your one and only grandfather mwenye anakupenda sana. Dearly, hadi alikuwa anakubembeleza na kupelekea maji kwa bafu. Eh? Uh, making that decision was not easy, but I had to kama singetoka singekuwa pale niko cuz umeni usijui kwa umeelewa family inakupush in another way so path that you don't want to follow yes na ni watu hawakuelewi na ni watu wanafikiria wewe ni mbaya so i had to do that i had to this, kujitoa kwanza so i think it help when you rudiota my grandfather was so happy to see me in the morning kwanza nilikuwa hapo by 7 niko ze who can a doka and he was he was like ah so ni jidia so nilimtoa bedroom he was so happy and i thank god uh, so nilikaocha kidogo i'm sure he was happy because you are looking better than you left you know na yeah uh-huh. then mtoto amerudi so, and ilikuwa imefika place they are worried now the whole family is worried but i feel nothing in the other sahi ah so nili accept guka tukakana guka so next nikitoka kutoka sasa akanipata kwanza na dread ah alikuwa wewe sasa ni mau mau ati wewe ni mau mau yani rudi ni rudi yote sasa na nini na dread hapo zilikuwa zime yani ulikuwa umeziachilia ilikuwa zinatosha na kama zile so akoze eh wewe sasa ni mau mau alikuwa so proud ha? so tukakaa so nikitoka ocha next ilikuwa niko blessed na guka sasa unaweza toka 
so he later akakuwa msik na venye alikuwa msik aliniambia izidia uh, sijai kwa mgonjwa na kufa and uh, that it really broke me kujua gukangwa na kufa alikwambia na that very first day you went ama ulikuwa umekaa for some time ah uh, sasa si amekuwa msik ameenda husi amerudi then ni wale unajua wa kitambo hawataki kukaa Nairobi so ako kwa anti hapa pango so you can imagine amekuwa msik ananiambia tu kweli ni jidi adi darwara so ujue he this is my last journey it was not easy I remember kuna time guka alikata kukula for seven days angali kama atadai and hakukufa alikanja for seven days what how was he surviving we do we really ilikuwa ile guka kula hakuli ana kudai alikuwa old yeah enough and anaona anasumbua watu wake which alansa hao watu wake wanafurahia maybe kumu kumwangalia kumwangalia because ameshinda amewatake care of then he threw out yeah. no na eh. so we we were happy taking care of him but yeye yeah, anaona anasumbua watu uh, so later december alikufa kama kuna kifo mpaka wa leo ni heart break me yo umse ningejua shida yake ningemsaidia but may so rest in peace